hi guys welcome back to the channel now today we're going to talk about the highways in Jamaica we are in see we're in Buff Bay and we are looking at the construction of the southern coastal highway so we're going to give you a general picture of what the government's plan is rebuilding the coastal highways in Jamaica so the government of Jamaica has a vision of major highway facilities running along the coast um, running along the coast around the entire island. This is to ensure effective access to towns and natural resources along the coastline. The north-south highway was the first phase and that highway runs from Negril to Port Antonio. So the north-south highway goes through Westmoreland, Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, St. Anne, St. Mary, and Portland. It goes through the major towns of Negril, Lucy, Montego Bay, Falmouth, Ocherios, Discovery Bay, Runaway Bay, St. Mary, um, Port Maria, Bosco Bell and ends in Port Antonio. It goes through Anata Bay as well. Now, the second or another phase of the project is to build the Southern Coastal Highway. Now, the Southern Coastal Highway has two parts to it. So, basically, there are two coastal highways the Northern Coastal Highway and the Southern Coastal Highway. Now phase one, okay, the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project involves the development of highway alignments, upgrades, and new alignments along two corridors. The first corridor is from Port Antonio, Portland to Harborview in St. Andrew. That's 110 kilometers that runs along the southern and eastern parishes. It traverses through St. Andrew, St. Thomas, and Portland and that is where we are today straight ahead that's the construction of the southern coastal highway and we are in saint andrew now that's phase one or segment one segment two of the southern coastal highway project is to build a highway from negril westmoreland to mandeville manchester that one will be 130 kilometers and tra traverse the parishes of Westmoreland, St. Elizabeth, and Manchester. So, let's take it now that we're traveling from Kingston. You're going to have a high, the Southern Coastal Highway taking you from through King, through St. Andrew, St. Thomas, Portland. And then you're going to have the Northern Coastal Highway taking you from Portland, through St. Mary, through St. and through St through Trelawney, through St. James, through Hanover, through Westmoreland. And then the second phase of the Southern Coastal Highway project, which hasn't started yet, it will start after this phase is finished, will take you through Westmoreland, St. Elizabeth, Manchester. So two thirds of Jamaica's coast will be covered via a highway. And it's very important to point out you don't have to pay to use these coastal highways only highway 2000 you have to pay you don't have to pay to use these roads so the government really is doing a good job in building out these highways definitely doing a good job now the northern coastal highway is also being expanded from Ocherios to Montego Bay, that section. It's going to go from two lanes to four lanes. So, and they're building a few bypasses, one in Say, one in Discovery Bay, one in Runaway Bay, and one in Priory. So you're definitely going to have highway quality roads running along the coast of Jamaica. Now you might ask, why have them running along the coast? Because most other capitals are located on the coast remember these towns were formed hundreds of years ago and everything was done via sea then 
So you find the port towns or the ports became towns and then the towns became ca um, the parish capitals because that's where everything happened. So um, Nigril on the coast. Nigril is a major tourist destination now. It has hotels along the Seven Mile Beach. Lucy, the capital of Hanover, and it's, a, it's, a, it's on the coast. Savlamar, the capital of Westmoreland, actually has a port. It's on the coast. Montego Bay is on the coast. That's the capital of St. James. Major tourist destination. You have hundreds of hotels in Montego Bay. Or most of them are along the beach or close to a beach. Falmouth, which is the capital of Trelawney, coastal town. They actually have the Falmouth cruise ship pier where cruise ships can come in. And that pier was voted the number one cruise ship pier or terminal in the Caribbean in 2021. It won the award. I think it's the World Cruise Award, a very prestigious award, very recognized. And not only did it win it for the number one terminal or port in cruise ship port in the Caribbean, it won it for the number one cruise ship port in the world. In the world that it was built in partnership with Royal Caribbean and Carnival Cruise Lines. Royal Caribbean and Carnival are, I think they're the same company or they, they are both associated with each other. They might have two different company names, but basically it's the same company that operates two different kind of ships. And Royal Caribbean has the largest ships in the world, the Oasis class of ships. Those are the largest ships in the world and they call upon the Falmouth cruise ship terminal. Harmony of the seas, allure of the seas, all of the Oasis class ships, those are the biggest in the world. They call on port on Falmouth and that's a port town as well. That's another reason why you need these highways running along the coast. And then after Falmouth, you have Ocherios, which is on the coast. Same thing, hundreds of hotels all built along the beach or close to the beach. Then you have Port Antonio, not Port Antonio, you have Port Mario, the capital of, oh my God. <laughs> okay, I'll correct that after. You have Port Maria, the capital of St. Mary. No, I need to, I made a mistake a while ago. The capital of St. Anne is St. Anne's Bay. My apologies. But Ocherios is by far the largest and most popular town in St. Anne. And there is, but let's just go back. St. Anne's Bay is built on the, on the, on the coast. It's the capital of St. Anne. Ocherios is the main town. It's not even a city, it's a town. It should be a city and it should be the capital of Ocherios. If not, Ocherios could easily be a parish by itself, but that's for another video. But nonetheless, St. Anne's Bay is the capital of St. Anne. Ocherios is the main town. Then you have Port Maria built on the coast, capital of St. Mary. Then you have Anata Bay, which is a main, one of the main towns in Portland, or is it still in St. Mary? But it's a main town built on a coast. And then you have the capital of Portland, which is Port Antonio, that is built on the coast. And even as you come back through St. Thomas, you have Marat Bay built on the coast. That's the capital. And then you come to Kingston, the capital of Kingston, the parish of Kingston, which is built on the coast. The capital of St. Andrew is half a tree, but that became the capital of St. Andrew very recently. So that's why it wasn't built along the coast. And then you have Portmore that's going to become a parish very soon. And we're not sure where the capital of that one is going to be. So basically the main, the main activity or the, the main towns are along the coast. So that's why this highway is so important and so critical to Jamaica's development. So that's just an eye giving you an overview of the coastal highways in Jamaica. 
Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.